Hello, Paul Hamilton here. Here's a little tutorial about how we can actually um, bring in, import some data from a website into a Google Sheet. So I've gone to a Wikipedia page here, just the demographics of India, and you can see down, if, as I go down, there's lots of different tables, one, two, three, four. And what we can do in Google Sheets is bring that data straight in by applying a certain function. So let's have a look at how we did that. So what I've got here is I've got the blue cell there is basically where um, I've applied the formula. And you can see the formula down here. It's basically the import HTML um, function. And I've basically got in brackets the actual website, um, and then a comma, and then table, and then the table that I actually want the data to be brought in. So if I actually change, if I can click in here and change that table to table, say, uh, five, it will import that data from that website into my spreadsheet here as it's loading. It's taking a little while to do so. Uh, there it is there, and I've actually got that data. And what we can do then is we can start to play around. I'll change that one more time and see how that looks. Let's go to table six and see what table six has on that website. It takes a little while depending on, and I've got quite a detailed information there. So I've got population mail. Let's do something with that. Now that we've imported it, we can actually get the kids to start to make sense of it. So let's look at some of these places here, um, highlight those cells, go up to plus and create a little chart. And you can see here, if I tick box there, we've now got this information in a chart of the population. That's probably not the best one to actually do, but we could actually change that and edit it and actually make a different one. Let's choose, um, we could have a look at those in a range of different kind of graphs and so forth. You can look at the population down there. Um, yeah, so just a fantastic way of kind of bringing in that data. And you can see all that information that's been brought in using the tools of Google Sheets to actually bring about um, a function and to bring that in. And you can see there, you basically click on the FX, search your functions, or even just type in import HTML, and then all you need to do is put the website with the table, comma, and then the table on the actual website. So on the website here, you can see there's a range of different tables going from one downwards, and then you can import them. Paul Hamilton, signing off.